Welcome to video 2 of the query series. And today we are going to look at how to create a very simple query. And this is what the query is supposed to do. So at the end of it all, this is what we are expecting our query to achieve. Just get me the item number and the total quantity of the uh, grouped by from the item ledger entry grouped by the item number. So we are selecting item number, the sum quantity as total quantity and uh, from item ledger entry grouped by the item number. So for each item number, we sum everything that is involved there to get the total quantity. And if we run the two queries together, the first one doesn't do any grouping. It, it just displays everything. You can see the item is repeated and the second one does the grouping. So we'd like to do that with the simplest query to do that. And I'll definitely just use the snippet for the T query and I make sure that I've selected the normal query and um, my ID will be the item ledger entry query, which is already a normal query. We don't need the trigger and the uh, global variable sections, but in our elements under the data item, we need to set it to be the item ledger entry. And again, we need the column for the item number and the column for the quantity. So let's just add a column here for the quantity. Then we might need a column, a filter column for the posting date. So this is what happens when we display this query of ours. The posting date won't be visible in the query because we will run our query and we'll be able to see the result of the query. But we won't display the posting date. The posting date will be available for filtering in case we need to use the query for query operation. So this is our query. But there's something else that we need. We need this query to be an aggregate query. For it to be an aggregate, we need to add the method is equals to sum to make it an aggregate. To achieve whatever we have here, select sum. Then we need to add the method to be sum. Then, and finally, the query type is normal, but then we need a query category to indicate a given query can be made um, available as views displayed on certain main entity list. And on, the, on queries, the query category property specifies one or more query categories that the object supports. On pages, query category specifies the query category that the page supports. So here, we'd like to say that this query category should be in the item list table and maybe the customer list. So for these pages, okay, not the not table, but the page. So we are saying that we'd like this query to be displayed in the item list and the um, and the customer list um, pages. So that's it for our simplest query. We'd like to run it and compare whatever we are seeing here to whatever we have in. SQL server because we can clearly see that for instance in item like item number 1000 has 32 total quantity so what what does it have on this other side of ours so we can start we can look it up from the customers under uh, this item ledger entry query we can see that the quantity for this item is 32 and uh, the rest of the items are displayed based on whatever you have had so we can also go to the item 
the items list. I'd like to see if it's there also. Let me go to the main items list. I don't know why this is not displaying that. And when you click on this, you can clearly also see the item ledger entry query, which is also displayed from here. And we can clearly see how our view is. Um, and the view is similar to whatever we have done in SQL Server. So this is the SQL Server query. And this is our simplest query with an aggregate. So if we remove the aggregate from the query, we'll definitely be able to get um, this. It's like saying, uh, without this sum, we'll just get the list of all the items without, uh, okay, all displayed without having been grouped by the item number. So that's it for a simple query. Uh, I'll see you in the next video where we will definitely add another dash item to make it just a little bit complex. We might create a new query and then add uh, another data item. And just to mention that this is a series, it's a continuation from where we started. So if you aren't conversant with whatever we have done, please go watch the introduction video, which is the first video of the query series, and come back again to this video, and then you proceed from there. I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.